Now that we've completed the heel turn, you've got this nice V shape which has pulled in the sides of the heel flap, it's time to pick up the stitches down the side of the heel flap which is what's going to give you the gusset. Now it doesn't really matter whether you pick up just one side or both stitches of these edge stitches here. These are the ones that you slipped and it makes them easier to pick up because they are slightly bigger so you can see, you can see them more easily. You're going to pick up one stitch for every two rows of heel flap knitted and it'll be one large stitch so it's quite easy for you to see. You're going to go all the way down this flap and then pick up an extra stitch here in the gap between where the heel flap ends and the top of the foot stitches start because that's what will stop you getting a hole in that space. It's really easy to pick up and knit a new stitch. You put your needle into the stitch, wind the yarn around the needle and then pull it through and you've created a new stitch on your needle and that's it. You're going to do the same thing in each of the stitches all the way down the heel flap. Don't worry if it looks as if it might be a little bit baggy at the moment. Sometimes when you first pick up the stitches they do look a little bit loose but they will tighten up as you go around now you can see where the stitches are, are picking up there. You, you won't notice those holes at all once you get going with your sock again. So the thing to do now is to continue picking up each stitch all the way down the heel flap. I've finished picking up the stitches down the first side of the heel flap and I've made the extra stitch in the gap so that I don't get a hole where the heel flap joins to the top of the foot stitches. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit across the top of the foot stitches they're currently on my short circular needle and I'm going to use this to, to knit across these stitches and then I'm going to pick up the rest of these stitches on the other side of the heel flap using the short circular needle. So what I need to do is bend it around into a tiny circle and it will bend so don't worry about, about it not quite reaching and then I'm just going to start knitting. Here's my yarn all ready to go and I'm just going to knit across these top of the foot stitches in pattern. Remember we ended on a round four so you need to start with a round one and then I'm ready to pick up the next set of stitches up the heel flap. Here's my second set of picked up stitches done and now what I need to do is knit across the top of the foot stitches and then back down to the end of this first double pointed needle because that's where I'm going to do my first decrease. I've got three stitches to go on the double pointed needle and because we're just moving into the first round of the gusset decreases then I'm going to do my first decrease here which is a knit two together decrease so the needle goes into both stitches, wind the yarn around and knit them both together and then knit one, that's that double pointed needle finished with and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put my other stitch marker on. So this one is different, I've got my little sheep here I've got my mermaid scale over there so I know which one is which. Now I'm always going to be decreasing on this side, on the big side, the heel side of the sock. You never decrease on the top of the foot side or the, otherwise your, your gusset will, will go in the different way to what you think it's going to do. So because we're on round two of the pattern as we go across the top of the foot stitch, this is just going to be knit and purl. Um, the, the way that you have done with every other round two all, all the way down the sock until we get to this section here until we get to the, the, the next set of picked up stitches and then we're going to do the next decrease. I finished knitting across the top of the foot stitches and now I'm ready to make the next decrease. I'm going to slip the marker just by passing it from one needle to the other. I'm going to knit the first stitch and then this time I'm going to do a slip slip knit decrease. I've slipped the first stitch knit wise the second stitch purl wise and then I slip them both back onto the left hand needle and I knit through the back of both loops. Um, if you'd rather do a slip one knit one pass slip stitch over you can do that. The reason I use this one is that it sits a bit flatter and um, it, it looks a little bit more professional. I don't know whether it really matters that much for a sock uh, but it would do if you were knitting a, a garment for example um, and I just happen to like that decrease. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit the rest of these stitches around to the next marker and then that's when I'm going to start round two of the gusset decreases. 
I'm just coming up to the marker, which is going to show me the start of round two. There's my decrease stitch from the last round, but on round two we just knit everything. So I'm going to knit this decrease and that stitch. I'm going to slip the marker from one needle to the other and then I'm going to work my top of the foot stitches in pattern. We're on round three of the top of the foot stitches until I get to this next marker. Once you've done the top of the foot stitches then it's there's the, the last stitch there. It's time to slip the marker again. Just slip it from one needle to the next and because you're on round two then you're just going to knit across the decreases. You can see where the decrease was from the round before and then you're just going to knit all the way around until you get to three stitches before your first marker again. Here we are at the start of round three of the gusset decreases. We've stopped three stitches before the marker. It's a knit two together decrease, so needle goes into both stitches, yarn around, slip them off, knit one stitch, slip the marker from one needle to the other, it's round four of the pattern, so you're going to knit and purl all the way across. When you reach the marker, you're going to slip the marker, knit the first stitch. It's the slip, slip, knit decrease, so you slip the first stitch knitwise, slip the second stitch purlwise, put the needle back through both stitches, and then knit them through the back of the loops. And then you're going to carry on knitting all the way around until you get back to the next marker and then that's going to be the start of round two and you're going to knit across the decreases you're going to knit across top of the foot in pattern and then you just keep going all the way around working rounds two and three until you get back to the original number of stitches that you had when you cast on